magandang buhay para sa ating lahat. So, right now, we're going to discuss the welded connections and tangent members. So, in welded connections, different elements are connected by heating their surfaces to a plastic or a fluid state. There may be may or may not be pressured, and there may or may not be filler material materials. Art welding. So it's the general term for the many processes that uses electrical energy in, in the form of an electric arc to generate heat necessary for welding. Basta tatanda nyo guys, di ba sabi ko sa inyo lagi, pag wineweld, nagwe-welding kayo, hayaan nyo lang siyang lumamig, huwag nyo siyang bubuhusan, or if of force na siya ay gamitin agad. Basta pagka tapos yung mag-welding, hayaan nyo siya, let it be, para okay. Yung gagawin mong pag-welding. Okay, so types of welding, so notwithstanding the availability of both gas and arc, Welding, so welded connections in steel structures are ordinarily done by an arc welding. To obtain satisfactory connections, additional wet metal is used for joining different elements in electric arc welding. The additional material is metallic rod. So, ito yung ginagamit, di ba, para sa pag-welding, which is used as the electrode. So, in this type of welding, the electric arc, arc produced between the elements being welded and the electrodes heats the elements and the electrode to the melting point. So, this transformation of electrical energy into thermal energy and the resulting high temperature is up to 5,500 degrees Celsius. So, it causes the metallic electrode to melt off into joints. So, small droplets of the molten metallic electrodes are in fact driven onwards to the joints. So, thus, overhead welding is possible by electric arc welding. For molten steel must be protected from the surrounding air. So, otherwise, gases contained in the molten steel can combine chemically with oxygen and nitrogen in the air. So this chemical reaction leaves small packets of gases in the weld after it has cooled down. So make it porous. The resulting weld will be brittle with very little resistance up to corrosion. So to prevent this undesirable brittleness of the weld. So two types of arc welding are commonly used. We have the shielded metal arc welding or arc name for SWAW, SMAW, I mean, and the other one is submerged or hidden or arc welding, which is arc name so. For the shielded metal arc welding or SMAW, so these are the electrodes, coating, so it yung ginagamit natin, yan. So the work piece, for example, yan yung weld natin. Okay, so it's yung power supply, so yan yung protecting the gas, so. The weld is protected by using an electrode covered with a layer of mineral compounds. So melting of this layer during the welding produces an inert gas encompassing the weld area. So this inner gas shields the weld by preventing the molten metal from having contact with the surrounding air. The, cor the protecting layer of the electrode leaves a slug after the mold has cooled down. The slug can be removed by pinning and brushing. So these are the tables for electrode use for welding. So makita mo yung XXX na yan. So the electrode material is specified under the various specific specification and it's given the table and shown. So the designation such as E60XX or E80XX indicates that 60 KSI which is means is 415 megapascal or 80 KSI which is 550 megapascal respectively for the tensile strength. So the E denotes electrodes. So the X represents the number indicating the usage of the electrodes. So yan yung makikita nyo. So in so process, the arc is not visible because the surface of the weld and the electric arc are covered by a blanket of granular 
fusible material to protect it from surrounding area. So in this method, bare metal electrode is used for as filler material. So compared to swam, saw welds provide deeper penetrations. Also, saw welds show good ductility and corrosion resistance and high impact strength. So compared to sa small, mas magandang gamitin ng so or submerged arc welding. So in the process of the electrode, it's a, in a, it's a continuous wire that is fed from a coal through the electrode holder. That's gas metal arc welding or jimao. So the, the shielding is entirely from an entire external ex externally supplied gas or gas mixture. So the jimao process using the carbon monoxide. So sh shielding is good for the lower carbon and low alloy steels which are usually used in buildings and bridges. For flux cord arc welding or FCAW or FCAW, this process is similar to Jimao except that is uh, that um, the continuously fed filler metal electrode is tubular and contains the flux material within its core. So the core material provides the same function as does the coating is in small or the granular flux in so. So this process is useful procedure for field of filed wielded, uh, wielded in severe cold weather condition as well as the speed up rise construction. So this will be the example of the flux cord arc welding. So ganyan yung nangyayari. For the advantages of welding, of course, in welded connection, in general, fewer pieces are used. This speed up to detailing and fabrication process. It also, uh, gasset and splice plates may be eliminated because of the bolts and rib or rivets are not needed either. So thus, the total weight of the welded steel structure is somewhat less than the that of the corresponding bolted structure. Connecting Unusual members such as pipes is easier by welding by than by bolting. Siyempre, ano mas madali kasi magbo-bolt ka pa doon. So, welding provides truly rigid joint and continuous structure. So, one possible drawback of welding is the need of for careful execution and supervision. For this reason, welding is sometimes done in the shop and bolting in the field. So, in other words, shop welding is complemented by bolting by the bolting in the field so form welded joints so these are the example for fillet yan so, so but so makikita niyo yung mga example ng T joints flap joint and butt joints <clears throat> so the two common types of welds in welded uh, welded steel structure are groove welds and fillet welds so fillet welds are much more popular in structural steel design than group well, well, welds, not weld, you know? this is weld, wrong spelling, that is weld. Okay, for fillet welds, so depending on the direction of the applied loads and the line of the fillet weld, so fillet welds are, fillet welds are classified as longitudinal or transverse fillet welds in long longitudinal or longitudinal fillet weld the force to be transmitted is perpendicular to the weld line so makikita nyo yan ha yan diba ito actually ito yung transverse fillet so ito yung longitudinal fillet okay so ito para example for fillet weld on corner joints so dapat may supporting yan diba para at least yan yan yung lap joint T joint yan so it can be either equal leg or an equal leg as shown. So the interse intersection point of the original faces of the steel elements being connected is called the ro ro root of the weld. So the surface of the weld should have a slight convexity. So in computation of the strength and of the weld, however, the convexity is not taken into account and the theoretical flats surface is used so the normal distance from the root 
to the theoretical phase of the weld is called the throat of the weld. So, we have an equal, ayan. So, this again, an equal or equal leg, di ba? So, this will be the penetration for this one. So, ayan, makita mo to. Equal leg, ayan. Ito yung face, theoretical face, ayan. Ito yung root. So, this will be your leg, you know, or W. Or this will be your throat. For the unequal, ayan naman. Ganun din, halos, ang kanyang position. Pero pinapakita yan. Diba? May height dito. Yung leg niya. Kasi dun sa equal leg, parehas na kasi. Sa unequal yan, hindi no? parehas ang leg niya. Okay. For the experiments performed on fillet welds, indicate that they are weaker in shear than in tension and, and compression. So also equal fillet, leg, fillet, welds fall in shear through the throat angle of 45 degrees with the legs of the weld. So for equal leg fillet weld welds, the relation between the dimension of the leg W and the throat T is throat T is equal to 0 0.707 of leg. So for the unequal throat, throat is equal to leg multiplied for the A Actually, the height yun, di ba yung leg? Actually, leg pareha siya, di ba? Kaya lang depende yan. Kasi nga, ito yung unequal na yan. Ito yun, di ba? Yung H na yun. Kasi unequal leg nga siya. Okay. So, square out W squared plus H squared. So, that will be your formula for the unequal leg. Thus, the shear, shear stress is controlling factor in the design of of the play. This is off welds. So, it is customarily calculated by dividing the force P acting on the wells by the effective throat area of the well. So, the effective throat area is computed by multiplying the throat thickness by the length of the field well. So, this method of finding average shear stress is used both long longitudinal and transverse fillet wells. For the effective area of fillet wells, so, the following or the effective area of the group wells shall be based on the following. So, we have the effective area of the fillet wells shall be taken as the effective length times the effective throat of the thickness or the effective length of the fillet wells except fillet wells in holes and slots shall be overall length of full-size fillet including returns. The effective throat thickness of a fillet well shall be the strongest, shortest distance from the root of the joint to the face of the drum. Diagrammatic wells, so except that for fillet wells made by the submerged arc process, the effective throat thickness shall be taken equal to the leg size of 10 mm and the smaller fillet wells and an equal to the theoretical throat plus. 3 millimeter fillet wells larger than the 10 mm. Number four, we have the four fillet wells in holes and slots. The effective length shall be the length of the center line of the weld along the center of the plane through the throat. In the case of overlapping fillets, the effective area shall not exceed the nominal cross sectional area of the holes, slots in the plane of the frame surface. So, the yan, yan yung ating, yan. So, limitation of the fillet weld. So, we, we have the limitation. So, the minimum size of the fillet wells shall be taken, as shown in table 3.3. 3. So, it dependent upon the thicker of the two parts joined, except that the weld size need not exceed to the thickness of the thinner part. So, the for these exceptions, particular care shall be taken to provide sufficient preheat for soundness of the weld. So, weld sizes larger than the thicker, thinner part joint are permitted if required the calculated strength. So, in the, in the uh, as welded condition, the distance between the edge of the base metal and the toe of the weld may be less than 1.6 millimeter provided the weld 
is size is clearly verifiable. So these are the material thickness of the thicker part joint. So this will be the minimum size of the fillet. The maximum size of fillet wells is permitted along its connected part shall be material less than 6 mm thick, not greater than the thickness of the material. B, the material 6 mm or more in thickness, not greater than the thickness of the material, minus 1.6 mm. Unless it, the wells is specified, specially designated on the, the drawings to, the, to be built out to obtain full throat thickness. So the minimum effective length of fillet wells designated on the basis of strength shall be not less than four times the nominal size or else the size of the well shall be considered not to be exceed one-fourth of its effective length. So if longitudinal fillet wells are used along, alone in end connections or flat bar tension members, the length of the fillet each fillet well shall not be less than the perpendicular distance between them. So the transverse spacing of longitudinal fillet wells used in end connections. So on of tension member shall not be exceeded 200 mm unless the member is designed on the basis of effective net area. In intermittent fillet wells are permitted to transfer calculated stress across a joint or vein surface when the strength required is less than the, that uh, developed by a continuous fillet wells of the smallest permitted size and to join components of built up members so the effective length of any segment of intermittent fillet welds welding shall not be less than four times the weld size with a minimum of 38 mm in lap joints, the minimum lap shall be five times the thickness of the thinner part joint, but not less than 25 millimeter. So lap joints, joining plates or bars subjected to actual stress shall be fillet welding along the end of both lap parts, except where the deflection of the lap parts or lap part is sufficiently restrained to prevent opening of the joint under maximum loading. For fillet welds in holes or slots are permitted to transmit shear in lap joints or to prevent the buckling or separation of lap parts and joint components or build up members. Such fillet welds may overlap subjects to the provision of the code. So we have to look for the code, siempre. Fillet welds in holes or, st or slots are not be considered plug or slot welds. Side or end fillet welds terminating the ends of the side, respectively, of part members shall, wherever practicable, be returned continuously around the corners for a distance not less than two times the nominal size of the weld. This provision shall apply to the size or to size and of top fillet wells, connecting brackets, beam seats, and similar connections. On the plane about which uh, bending moments are computed for framing angles and simple and end plate corrections, which depend upon flexibility of the outstanding legs for connection flexibility and return shall not exceed four times the nominal size of the wells. Fillet wells that occur on opposite sides of a common two bot wells. So end return shall be indicated on the design and details of the drawings. So we're looking for the capacity of equal leg fillet wheel well. So load capacity of P is FB is equal to 0 0.77 leg and multiply the leg. Or FV for FB is 0 0.3 of FU. Where, where W is size of weld. Don't worry, like the kangina sinasabi ko, di ba? Or the total length of welds. The allowable, allowable shearing stress of weld metal for the FV. So these are the value of or size of the weld.
in inches and or in millimeter so this will be the allowable so you have to look for this one because if your tensile strength is uh, 415 fb is 124 megapascal yan ang ginagamit kasi ksi is the english hindi naman natin ginagamit yung English units niya. This will be used for the allowable working strength of equal leg fillet welds. So, for the group welds uh, channel in the surface of the work piece of or an opening between two joints members providing space to contain weld metals. So, these are the example of the basic group welds. Ayan. So it's used to connect structural members that are aligned in the same plane. If a group well is to transmit the full load of the members they joined, so the well should have the same strength as the pieces joined. So such group well is known as complete penetration group wells. So when the joints are designed so that the Groove wells do not extend completely through the thickness of the pieces joint. They are called partial penetration groove wells. So this will be the complete joints for the partial penetration, and this will be your partial. Ayan, makipinagkaiba. So the two different types of groove wells. Ayan, they are the partial penetration and then the full penetration. So the groove wells can be used when the pieces. To be connected can be lined up in the same plane with small to tolerances. So this will be the example or types of group wells: single, double, yeah. So in here are then types of group wells. Effective area of the group wells. So we have looking for the effective area of group wells shall be based on the following so we have to look for the effective area of the group well shall be considered as the effective length of the well times the effective throat thickness the effective length of the group well shall be the width of the part joint the effective throat thickness of a uh, complete penetration group well shall be the thickness of the thinner part joint or you have to look for the effective throat throat thickness of the partial penetration group well shown in the table 3.5 so ito yon yan yung mga yon table di ba so welding process yield submerged arc so gas metal arc and then flux core arc so less than or equal to 60 degrees or greater than or equal pala i mean or greater than or less than 60 degrees or greater than but not greater than or or but greater than or equal to 45 degrees. So these are the values. So for the effective area of group wells, yan, for number 5, so the effective throat thickness The effective throat thickness of a flare group wells The effective throat thickness of a flare group wells surface of the bar or of 90 degrees bend in the form section shall be shown in the figure or in the table I mean 3.6 random sections pro uh, production wells for each welding procedure or such test sections as may be required by design documents shall be used to verify that the effective throat in is consistently obtained for number six larger effective throat thickness than those in table 3.6 are permitted, provided the fabricator can establish by qualifications that he can consistently provide such larger effective throat thicknesses. So qualifications shall consist of sectioning the welds normal to its axis at mid length and terminal ends. So such sectioning 
shall be made on a number of combinations of material sizes as a representative of the range to be used in the fabrication or as required by the designer. So this will be the table for the effective throat thickness of flare group wells. So makikita niya yung plus sign na yun is used to 3 over 8 of R or R is greater than or equal to 12 mm. For the limitation, so the minimum effective throat thickness of a partial penetration group well shall be shown in table 3.7. Minimum effective throat uh, thickness is determined by the thickness or thicker of the two-part joint except that the well size need not exceed the thickness of the thinnest part joint. So for this exception, particular care shall be taken to provide sufficient preheat for soundness of the weld. So makikita mo yan, di ba? Ayan. Ito yung table natin. So, so plug slot welds. So the principal use of plug or slot welds is to transmit shear in lap joints when the size of the connections limits the length available for fillet or other well edge welds. Slot or plug welds are also useful in preventing overlapping parts for, from buckling. So makikita mo yung difference ng dalawa. So we have the effective shear, shearing area of plug or slot wells shall be considered as the nominal cross-sectional area of the holes or slot in the plane of the burying surface. For the limitation of the plug and slot wells, so we have to plug or slot wells are permitted to transmit shear in lap joints to prevent buckling or lap parts and to join components, parts of built up members. So the diameter of the hole for the a plug well shall be less than the thicker of the part containing it plus 8 mm rounded to the next larger at 1.6 mm nor greater than the uh, the minimum that's plus at adjun that's a or nor greater than the minimum plus 3 mm of 2 and one four times the thicker thickness of the well. That is at minimum grids. The minimum center to center spacing of plug wells shall be four times the diameter of the holes. So for the limitation of plug or slot wells, so minimum spacing of lines of lines of slot wells in any direction transverse to their length shall be four times the width of the slot. So the minimum center to center spacing in a longitudinal direction of any line shall be two times the length of slot. So the length of the slot or for a slot well shall not exceed ten times the thickness of the well. So the well the width of the slot shall be not less than the thickness of the part containing it plus eight mm. Nor shall it be larger than the two and one four times the thickness of the welt. So the end of those slots shall be semicircular or shall have the corners rounded to a radius not less than the thickness of the part containing it, except those ends which extend to the edge of the part. Next, we have the thickness of the plug or slot welds in material 16 mm or less in the thickness shall be equal to the thickness of the material. A material over 16 mm which our thickness or the thickness of the weld shall be at least one half of the thickness of the material but not less than 16 mm so we have the combination of the welds so if two or more of the general types of welds so group flay flag or slide slot are combined in a single joint the effective capacity of each shall be separately computed with the reference to the axis of the group in order to determine the allowable capacity of the combination. So mixed weld metal, so when the notch stuff is specified, this process consumable for all weld metals, so tack met wells, root pass, and subsequent passes deposited in a joint shall be compatible to assure notch stuff com composite metal, weld metals. So these are the examples. So we have two plates. 
So, 350mm and then wide and then 12mm thickness or thick are to be joined together and weld, welded lap slice, splice as shown in the figure. So, makita yan. Ito yan, ha? Parang ganyan. So, the electro used should for the weld as the normal tensile strength of 550. So, we have to determine the maximum weld size, the effective net of the area using the maximum weld size allowable by the code, syempre, and the maximum load that can be resisted the weld using the maximum weld size allowable in the code, of course. So, so we have the maximum size of weld, diba? 12 minus 1.5. So, we have the 10.5. So, alam 12 mm, di ba? So, so, for the thickness. So, material, the 6 mm more in thickness, not greater than or thickness of the material, minus 1.5. Ito yun. Unless the weld is specified or specifically designated on the drawings to be built out of the obtained full throat. So, I think that is according to the code. So, for the effective area of the fillet weld, so we have the multiplied the 350 times 2. Alam natin because dalawa yung ngayon. So, we have 700. So, makukuha natin effective throat thickness. Uh, alam natin, this is the thickness. The T is 10.5 of mm. So, we have 7.4325. Yung T na to, napalaki na is T na maliit. Thickness. So, we have the effective area of the fillet well shall be taken as the effective length times the effective throat thickness. Ayan. So, makukuha natin dyan is 5196.45 mm squared. So, because that is an area. Okay. For the considering the upper weld only, PF is equal to FBAB. Alam natin formula ng FB is 0 0.3 of FU. That is 330 megapascal. For the area of B or AV, 7 on, multiply the thickness and then the length. So, makuha natin is 2598 mm squared. So, all in for the P, multiplying this one, both FB and AV, we have 800,057,414 newton or 857.4 kilonewton. So, yan makuha natin. Yung value na yan. Diba? So, all in for this one, using this one, AV and in the DVFB. So we have another problem. So the double angle member shown in the figure consists of two angles. So yeah, two angles. So we have 125, 88 mm, yan, and then by 10 mm thick. So yung kapal nun. So with 125 mm side welded to a gasset plate. So check ka natin. Ayan, ito yun. So the member is to carry the tonsils force of 848 kilonewton. Using 6 mm fillet, so E60 electrode, determine that each fillet well required for balance condition. So we're using for the A steel, kadala sa kasi gito ginagamit. So or the FY is 250 megapascal. Call check natin. So we're looking for the L1 and L2. Ayan. Gasset plate. So balance well. So in some cases, members subjected to the direct axial stresses are themselves unsymmetrical and cause uh, eccentricities in welded connections. Such is the case of an angle section welded to a gasset plate shown in the figure. So, yan makita mo. Yung P1, P2, and P3. Ayan. So, we have the length 1, length 2, and length 3. Y1 and Y2. For this load the P, yeah, admit that na yan. Pag chinect mo center of gravity niya, ayan. Di ba? Pag chinect mo yan. Okay. So, to avoid the eccentricity, the following equation must be satisfied. So, P is equal to P1 plus P2, P3. So, pag nag-moment tayo sa G na yan, sa CG na yan, center of gravity is equal to 0. So, P1, P Y1 plus P3, Y3 is equal to P2, Y3, Y2. So, if all these wells are equal length fillet and have the same size, the following equation may be used. Yung gagamitin natin. Diba? Yung P is equal to 0.707. The weight or length, length FP. Ah, di natin yan. Okay. So, 
alam natin, according sa FU natin, sa E60, the, the value of FU is 425 megapascal. So, allowable shear on the... Ito, na ko to sa table na to, ha? Yung kagina, no lecture natin. So, allowable shear on the effective area of wells. So, we are looking for the 425. So, we have 127.5 of megapascal. For the shear on the base plate, or metal, I mean. So, 0.4 of FY or 40% of the FY we have 100 megapascal. So, consider the one member only. So, pag chinect natin yan, yung 84 and divide na sa 2. So, we have the 4 to 4 kilonewton. Okay. So, length of the welds. Ayan. Base, tama ko natin. AV is thickness of length. 6 times L. So, we have 6L. Kasi wala pa yung value ng L natin, ha? Yun ang kukuy natin. So, the value of P is 4 to 4. Nakakilo nyo to. Yun. So, we have one, uh, 424,000. Uh, 424,000. 424,000. Diba? So, multiply it for this one. Of 600. I divide natin to this one. So, we have length of 706 millimeter. But, for the... Based on the weld and metal shear, ito ang gagamitin natin. So, pag nakuha natin L na to, ang makuha natin L dito ay 784 mm. Check mo, ano gagamitin mo sa dalawa. So, ang, ang pwede natin gamitin ay mas malaki, syempre, for the balance condition. So, makikita natin yan, makukuha natin yung equation. So, L1 is equal to 42. So, dalawa ang unknown. Hindi natin masasolve yan, di ba? So, for this one, so, i-substitute natin. So, huh? 0 point, ay, 2.125 L2. Kasi dito nang galing yung equation na yan, ha? Yan, o, di ba? Yan, o. Sinaptitute ko lang dito, yung L1 na yan, dito. Di ba? So, makukuha natin yung value ng L2, which is 250.88 mm. So, pag to solve for the L1, substitute natin dito sa value ng L2. So, makukuha natin value ng L1 is 533.12 mm. So, nakukuha nyo ha? Nasusundan. So, ito yung value ng L1 at L2 natin. So, this will end our lecture for this one. I hope na meron kayo natutunan. So, we have to see again sa another lecture. So, ciao!